my topic for this week is on the Manhattan Project. So, this project was designed to create a nuclear bomb before Germany and before the rest of the world could. Um, the stakes for this race were incredibly high. It very well could have meant world destruction, at least American destruction, if we had lost this race. Western civilization might not have been what we know it as, like, in the slightest. It would have been completely different. It was very vital that we won that race. If Germany or Japan had won, tens of millions more would have died, and it would have been catastrophic. The atomic bomb was a scientific and technological exclamation point at the end of one of the most brutal wars in history. That's what it's known as for most scholars. The race came down to who had the most technological advancements in the end, like just who had the better technology, who had the better engineers. Uh, obviously, we had the best nuclear physicists, engineers, and chemists, otherwise we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have won the race. Uh, J. Robert Oppenheimer is known as the father of the atomic bomb. He was an American theoretical physicist and lab director. He was responsible for the research and the design of the bomb, and when the Manhattan Project launched in 1942, Oppenheimer was obviously recruited very quickly for the project. The man that selected him was named Leslie Groves, and less than three years after Groves selected Oppenheimer, both of the atomic bombs were created, so that just shows how truly gifted he was. So, yeah, Oppenheimer was obviously one of the more brilliant minds of his time, and without him, it's very likely that we wouldn't have won the race. Um, the atomic bomb coined Little Boy was dropped on Hiroshima on August 6th, 1945, and that was quickly followed by Fat Man dropped on Nagasaki on August 9th. While these bombs were catastrophic to the cities, they were the reason that we ended up winning World War II. Um, after the war, Oppenheimer was selected to be an advisor of the Atomic Energy Commission, which was an extremely prestigious position at the time. And after that, he moved to direct the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, New Jersey, which, as we all know, is a great honor. Uh, he also coined the quote, what we don't understand, we explain to each other, in pertaining to universities and professors. Basically, he was a big believer in not um, being arrogant, not hiding your research. Like, he wanted to work with others for the greater of mankind in general. Um, overall, the Manhattan Project was a triumph of engineering, industry, and science as well as utilizing the best minds that we had all coming together. Um, and yeah, Oppenheimer was definitely one of the bigger um, necessities in the Manhattan Project. So yeah, thanks.